Hey y'all, good afternoon. I apologize for my late video for our devotionals. I had a big day yesterday and uh, wasn't able to put this together earlier. But here is our devotional, uh, Mornings with Jesus, 2022 for January 4th, Tuesday. Here's the, uh, here's the Bible verse. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Second Peter, three, uh, third chapter, ninth verse. Recently, here's the uh, inspiration a story. Uh, recently, I noticed that my son, Pierce, was on his computer flipping between two programs to do his schoolwork. The, in, the inefficiency made me both batty and curious. So I asked what he was doing. He explained he was fast forwarding through a 20 minute video in one program and searching for the answers to related comprehension questions in another. He was cutting corners by skipping back and forth as, and as a result, he was Harumping with frustration at his method. I explained not only that he was what he was doing was more time consuming than watching the video in its entirety, but also that he wasn't really learning anything. His answers were vague and he was missing the whole point. As I spoke to Pierce and pointed a and pointed a proverbial finger at him. My three finger, other fingers pointed back at me, sigh. Throughout my life before and after Christ, I've sought shortcuts to get through what, th to get what I wanted, skipped ahead of Jesus' story for me, or worse, created my own. I suspect my shortcuts actually delayed outcomes, prolonged my learning and preparation undermined the results and in general was far more stressful. I learned the hard way that slowing way down and being fully present in Jesus' unfolding story is indeed the easier and infinitely more effective way. Even when I feel certain I have an inspired vision of where he's taking me, restfully waiting in God's in God allows me to marvel with peace and faith at his creativity and loving provision. Isabella Cam... Mm, I cannot pronounce her last name. It sounds Italian. Okay. Faith, faith step. Are you rushing ahead of Jesus to get to a certain place? Confess your haste and ask him to help you slow down. Set a goal for wait, waiting and then keep pace with his slow slower pace so i think we're all guilty of this is it if if the, if they're if you're if you have a goal for something and you see a shorter way to reach said goal do you not try the shorter route instead of going through all the steps accordingly and reaching the goal the natural way i think we have all done that and then learned that we should have just went the correct way to begin with. So I believe that's a very good lesson. And this is a very good devotion for today. So albeit a late devotion for today, I will get back on track um, and release these after midnight and 1 a.m. as I have been. Um, I do apologize. Uh, yesterday was quite a day. Um, my oldest son uh, woke me up early in the morning sick and I had to uh, help him um, and I'll go further into that in a different video I don't want to I don't want to uh, ruin the magic of these devotionals but uh, thank you for watching and I'll be praying for you all I hope you all are having a good day and I hope you're enjoying these devotionals as much as I am have a good day bye